Welcome back to Dog Fans United, the platform for Dog Fans. You heard me, it's been a minute, but I'm back, y'all. I'm back, all right? Took a little hiatus, man. I need to collect my thoughts, boy. I'm, I'm just letting y'all know for real. I was down, man. I was down. I'm going to be honest. You know, because I had aspirations of a Super Bowl this year, and the Dolphins let me down once again, which ain't new, right? But this one hurt a little different because I really believed, you know, but, like, Tua let me down all the way down, like, to the point where I ain't even a supporter of Tua no more. I don't even know how I got here, but that's where we at, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. All right, I was hurt. So, took me a little time to myself, lick my wounds, and now we back on the scene. All right, I got this video for y'all because in lieu of the Super Bowl coming up next weekend, I wanted to talk about something that was on my heart a little bit. All right, and it's about whether we should pursue having a great team or an elite quarterback because... Both win, both can get you to the Super Bowl, but let's go over it together, right? Which one's more feasible, right? Let's just go over it together because some of us have unrealistic goals and aspirations and dreams, myself included at times, and I'm going to bring y'all back down to earth a little bit, all right? Because we got to get the reality in, in this. Uh, one of the reality things in this is that only one team gets to win the Super Bowl. So 31 teams ain't going to feel good about the season, right? We happen to be one of them. We ain't the only one struggling. Detroit's struggling right now. Y'all saw them crying, them fans crying. They don't know when they're going to be back. You can't just assume, oh, next year we're going to make it to the Super Bowl. We're going to be in this position again. It, it don't work that way. It just don't work that way. They might not be back for another 50 years. Boo-hooing. They got it worse than we do. You know, like, so, as much as it hurts, everybody going to be hurt at the end of the year except one. That's why it's the NFL. It's 32 teams fighting for one trophy. 31 teams will fail. Whether we failed last weekend, which would have hurt if we were in the position of the Lions instead, and we were the Lions, and McDaniel didn't go for it on those two fourth downs to get field goals, we would be the ones hurting like that right now. And what would we be thinking? Next year we'll be back. No, no, that ain't no guarantee. It ain't no guarantee you get to come back every year. All right? It ain't been but a few teams got to come back every year. All right? And those are some of the elite quarterbacks. Now, let's go ahead and... Uh, get into the video got one thing i want to show y'all real quick my uncle graced me with this bad boy right here it's a 3d cut all right so you see the thickness on it it's a 3d cut of the dolphins logo which i definitely plan to put somewhere i don't know where yet but we plan to put that up at some point somewhere um, I do my lives in a different room, so maybe when I do my, meaning, not my live, sorry, that was the wrong term, I do my live reactions, okay, so after the game, my live reaction is not done right here, because I do it from the phone, because I want to send it out as fast as possible, uh, so that's why you see there's no intro, outro on those videos, here, intro, outro, all that, sound, all that. In those videos, it's my earbuds, it's straight from the phone, so I don't have to edit and do all this and that, and then, uh, um, um, you know, re-do uh, um, the video. I, I don't got to do none of that. I just get it right out to y'all so y'all can see the reaction, because that's the most important thing, right? So you can see the reaction after the game. All right. So I might put this up behind me for those videos moving forward uh because i just i don't got a lot of space behind me as you can see matter of fact i got like a little banner you can see like a little corner of the banner 
Uh, it's a Miami Dolphins, old school Miami Dolphins. Let me tilt this back a little bit. My old school Miami Dolphins banner. All right, you, you can see that a little bit. We got that too. So uh, that's one of the ones. And also got something else. I'll show y'all that, that. And these are gifts. Like people are giving me stuff. So appreciate them. All right, my uncle gave me those two. Uh, appreciate him uh, for giving me that. And then um, I got something from my wife's boss who, who's given me a few things, Miami Dolphins. So really appreciate it. Um, now let's go ahead and get into why we're here. All right. Would you rather have an elite quarterback or a great team? Let's talk about it. How did I even come to that? When you look across the NFL, uh, you look across uh, the playoff teams, right? You got three types of teams, right? Um, and you could break them down into more different types of teams if you want. Uh, or you could just break it down into the three I'm breaking it down into. Because the third one really encompasses everything else. You have teams that are led by elite quarterbacks. You have great teams that have good quarterbacks. And then you have teams that, in the playoffs, right? Teams that may have a good offense or a good defense, um, you know, that, that helped them get to that point, right? But that's about it, right? A good offense or a good defense and a decent quarterback, right? And that's what you'll have. The teams that end up making the Super Bowl are the teams that either have a great team, a great up, right? Great to historic, okay? Team. Or an elite quarterback. If you have an elite quarterback, you might not have the greatest defense, but your offense is so great that with your elite quarterback that you get the job done. Pat Mahomes, right? Pat Mahomes is an elite quarterback. He gets his team to the dance. Why? Because he's elite. The defense doesn't have to be great. It helps to be great, but the defense don't got to be great. Offensive weapons, uh, offensive line, all that don't have to be great. You got an elite quarterback. He makes them look better. By his eliteness alone, he carries them to the dance. All right? You can have that. Or you can have a great team. Offense and defense, just solid. Everybody's cohesive. Everybody works together. The quarterback fits right in. And then you just have a great team. 49ers, right? Purdy's not elite, but he's a really, really good quarterback. He fits the system that they have. They work well together. They have a really good defense, really good offensive line, weapons everywhere. Great team. They're in the Super Bowl this year, right? And then you have... The teams that have great quarterbacks or elite quarterbacks like Josh Allen, who he is an elite quarterback that can't do it because what happens is when you have an elite quarterback, and I know a lot of y'all, right before I started talking, right, when I mentioned, would you rather have an elite quarterback or a great team? You automatically said, I want an elite quarterback, man. Two of sucks. I want an elite quarterback, right? Hear me out here. All right, here's, here's where it gets good. Because Buffalo Bills have an elite quarterback. They do. He's elite. What happened? What happened? Because he's an elite quarterback. Pat Mahomes made it just fine. Now, does he have a really good defense with him? Yeah, he does. He does. All right, it's not just Pat Mahomes. He's got a really good defense this year. But he's won Super Bowls without it, okay? I've seen him do it. What happened? What happened, Buffalo? Let me tell you what happened. Their elite quarterback couldn't get them over the hump. And see, that's the problem, right? When you have a great team, you'll get over the hump because both offense and defense are playing great. Look at the 49ers. 49ers were able to overcome a 17-point deficit because they have a great team but if they just had an elite quarterback all it takes for him is to make a mistake and then you're the baltimore ravens ah you see what i did there you see what i did there 
They also have a quarterback who's verging on elite. All right? Now, he has elite traits. Passing game, is it elite? Debatable, right? I would say probably not. Others would say, heck, yes, it is. What happened? He couldn't get them over the hump. They don't have a great team. They have a great defense. They don't have a great offense. All right? When I say great team, I mean great offense and defense. They don't have a great team. They have a really, really, really good defense and then a verging on elite quarterback who couldn't get that offense over the hump. Made mistakes, they lose. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. And then you have the teams, all right, like the Miami Dolphins, who had a really, really good offense, but they had no elite quarterback. And when you have one of the two, really good offense, defense was ravaged by injury, so at that point, they were just average, you're probably not making it that far because you need either a great team or an elite quarterback to make it. Now, some people will say, okay, I got you, DP. You're making sense, right? But I got a question. What about multiple championships, right? Because we don't want to just win one. We want to be a dynasty. You're going to need an elite quarterback for that. But they don't fall on trees. I mean, they don't grow on trees. They don't fall out of trees, right? To get an elite quarterback, you got to get lucky a little bit. You just do. Dolphins got lucky with uh, uh, Dan Marino. Got lucky. KC got lucky with Pat Mahomes. Got him at number 10. What if he wasn't there? Right? Tom Brady, ultimate luck. Round six. Peyton Manning. Took him a few years, but he got there. Drew Brees, second stint. They got lucky. Shoulder wasn't as bad as they thought it was. All right? Saints gambled and won. All right? You can win multiple championships with those type of guys. But they're not easy to come by. All right? Russell Wilson, third round pick. He was elite early on, right? Uh well, maybe not the first maybe not the uh, the the championship they lost, but the one they won. Yeah. Yeah, he was pretty elite. Um but they really had a they really had a really good team as well. So and then also another team that had a really good team, which I'm gonna go I'm gonna go through it. But Eli, right? He wasn't an elite quarterback. He was very very clutch, but he wasn't an elite quarterback. Really good offense, really good defense. Gets him over the hump. Gets him over the hump, right? So 2001, 2000, 2001 Ravens. Really good run game. Really good defense. Gets him over the hump. Gets him over the hump, all right? So you don't necessarily have to uh, have an elite quarterback to win multiple championships. But Pat Mahomes, Tom Brady, they're winning multiple championships because they're elite. All right, so you can have it either way. Now, once again, it does help to have a really good defense. If you can marry having an elite quarterback with a really good defense offense, <laughs> you're going to win multiple championships, right? That's how you win them. You win one if you have an elite quarterback just getting you there to the dance and getting lucky, but you might not win multiple unless you can marry it with a great defense offense. But if you have a great team and you don't have an elite quarterback, you can also win. Which one's easier to do? It's obviously easier to construct a great team than it is to find an elite quarterback. Why? Because the Dolphins have run through quarterbacks trying to find an elite quarterback, haven't found one. But we've had some pretty good teams, right? We've had some pretty good teams. Now, you need it all to work, right? Because, you once again, there's only one spot. There's only one spot. I talked about it at the beginning of the video. There are 32 teams fighting for one spot, all right? So now, if you are a great team, 
which we haven't had many great teams, let's be honest, as the Dolphins. We've had either great offenses or great defenses. Uh, but if you do happen to have a great team, which we're hoping we can have next year, you still got to go up against an elite quarterback, get lucky, or another great team and get lucky, right? That's part of it because you're not going up against yourself every week and you just happen to make the Super Bowl that way. No, there's competition. All right, so you're not the only great team out there, and you're not the only team if you have an elite quarterback. We're an elite quarterback, all right? When Buffalo Bills and KC go at it, when Burrow and KC or, or the Bills go at it, they're going up against another elite quarterback, all right? And as you can see, I've named three elite quarterbacks. <coughs> I believe there are only three with the possibility of maybe... Jackson, especially Day's about to win his second MVP. So, no, is it his second? Yeah, I think this might be his second one. <coughs> so, with that being said, great teams are easier to construct. You can go get players, you can draft well, this and that, make a really good offense, good, really good defense, have a really good quarterback that fits the mold that you need him to do, minimize mistakes, be clutch every now and then, and then you can run off and win you a Super Bowl. I think that's the way the Miami Dolphins need to go right now. We all say we want an elite quarterback, but where are you finding one at? All right? You can say, all right, wait, well, just go draft one. Trade everything and go draft one. They don't fall on trees. I mean, they don't grow on trees. All right, you're not just going to go draft a quarterback and he's automatically going to be elite. <coughs> it's not how it works. Unfortunately, guys, not how it works. I don't live in La La Land. I can't feed you that. It's a bunch of baloney, right? So, with that being said, we need to focus on, I hate to say this, but we ain't about to just go find no elite quarterback nowhere. Let's be honest. Elite quarterbacks ain't giving up. They're not giving up elite quarterbacks. And, and miss me with Fields, right? I don't care nothing about what Fields um, is doing because he ain't better than Tua, right? Same tier at best. And he ain't even in the same tier as Tua. He's a tier below Tua right now. At best, he'd be in the same tier. He's got some elite traits, right? <coughs> But, honestly, he's got one elite trait, which is his running. His arm is not an elite trait because Pat Mahomes, there's a, a, a few guys who have stronger arms than Justin Fields, all right, and can throw the ball. Just because you can throw it across your body don't mean you're accurate, all right? So, no, not counting that one. But, um, two is the best we're going to come up with for this next year. It ain't good. We're hoping that he could be good. But that's the best we can come up with. So what we need to do is build a good team, a great team. All right, because that's how we go. We ain't going to get there on the back of no elite quarterback. We're not. That's not how we're going to get there next year. If we can win the Super Bowl next year, big if, all right, if we can win the Super Bowl next year, it's on the back of a great offense and defense. We got to have both. They're out there looking for a coordinator. I'm going to make a video about that once I hear some solid stuff, right? I'm hearing some about candidates and stuff like that, but I want to hear something a little more solid. Um, I do want Frazier myself personally. I want Leslie Frazier. Uh, and it, once they solidify some things or maybe bring the number down of who uh, they're doing second interviews with, I'll come back to y'all and be like, hey, hey, I'm banging the table for this guy instead of Frazier or, yeah, Frazier, and I'll tell you why, this and that. I'll make a breakdown video about that when the time I feel is right, but I'm not making two. So I'm waiting for the right time, obviously. Now, let's go over some of these last Super Bowl winners to see if they were led or if they were won by elite quarterbacks or great teams, all right? Because I think context is important. So that's why we're doing this part. And we'll start with 2010. All right. 
2010, we had Drew Brees and we had Peyton Manning. All right? Right off the top of my because I'm going off the top of the dome when it comes to this. You had elite quarterback versus elite quarterback. Drew Brees got the better of Peyton Manning, 31-17. All right? And that was elite quarterback at that time versus elite quarterback. <coughs> and uh, Drew Brees came out on top. Guys, sorry for the coughing, by the way. Next Super Bowl we had was Green Bay and Pittsburgh. That was uh, 2011. Yeah, 2011. And uh, that was really elite quarterback versus great team. And elite quarterback won. Um, so Aaron Rodgers won that game, 31-25. I wouldn't say Ben Roethlisberger was elite, but he was great for his system, and they had a really, really good defense and a really good offense. They still came up short, right? So they made it to the Super Bowl. They came up short against an elite Aaron Rodgers, okay? So if we're counting... Elites versus good from great teams. Elites are two and zero. Oh, all right, I'm not gonna continue counting. Do it as I go. Oh, you're wrong. Giants and um, New England. Okay, talk to bottom. Giants, great team. New England, elite quarterback. Actually, yeah, elite quarterback because I it was 2007 that. They had a great team and an elite, uh, an elite team actually. All right, which is also a tier on its own. An elite, they had an elite team in 07, and they still lost. All right, because of a great team by. Um, sorry, they had an elite offense. Uh, defense, no, no. All right, let's let's go. They had an elite offense, a really good defense, an elite offense, and they lost to a great team. All right, let me say that right. The defense was not as nowhere near as good as the Giants' defense. The Giants de had a great defense. They had a great offense. It all worked together. And they had a really good quarterback that knew that system. They beat New England, okay? They won that game over an elite quarterback. Then the next one, Baltimore, San Francisco. San Francisco, elite, I mean, um, great team. All right, great offense, great defense. Colin Kaepernick. When it comes to Baltimore, they had a great team. All right, great offense. Uh, Flacco was balling out in the playoffs that year. All right, he was elite in the playoffs. He wasn't elite during the season. All right, but in the playoffs, he was elite. That great team beat the other great team. All right, there were no elite quarterbacks in this one, but two great teams made it and won one, all right? And that's the way it works. Let's move on to the next one. You had, I don't even remember this one, to be honest. Uh, I don't remember this one that well. But it was Denver, and it was the Seahawks, and the Seahawks smoked them. 43 to 8. Boy, I don't remember this Super Bowl. Dang. That's crazy. All right, okay. This is the first this is the first Super Bowl that Russell went to. He was drafted in the 12. Yeah, 2 years later he was in the Super Bowl. Right, correct. All right. By that point he was playing elite football. But I'm not going to call him an elite quarterback. They had a really good football team. All right. They had a great team. They went against an elite quarterback on the end of his run. They end up winning that game 43-8. to eight. All right. Great team versus an elite quarterback, but towards the end of his run. That's how we're going to have to frame that because Peyton Manning was, he was declining. All right. Moving on. 
We had New England versus Seattle. All right, Seattle makes it two years in a row. This is the one that they lose. They were uh, a great team again, verging on elite for Russell against the uh, elite quarterback. The elite quarterback's team won. Tom Brady, twenty-eight, twenty-four. Next year, Denver versus Carolina. Carolina, great football team with Cam Newton. All right, he was an elite that year. He was playing elite football, but he wasn't an, an elite quarterback. Although that year, you might as well have called him elite because he won the MVP and he was just balling out. He really was. All right, running and passing the football. They had a really good defense. Really good uh, rushing attack. Really good offense. They lost to an elite quarterback with a really, really good defense. They had a really good team with an elite quarterback that year. That year, they were they were going to win it. 55 touchdowns for Peyton Manning. Like They, they were going to win it that year. They won it 24-10. Now, let's move on. New England, Atlanta. Okay, Atlanta, they had the same situation as Cam Newton where... Matt Ryan was playing really good football. I think he won the MVP that year. He was playing some really, really good football. Verging on elite that year, but he wasn't an elite quarterback. Let's be honest. Really good team. Really, really good offense. All right? Really good team, though. They end up losing to an elite quarterback in Tom Brady after being up 28-3 after the first half. All right, so they fumbled that one. They had it. They fumbled it. All right, sorry to bring that up if I have any Falcons fans listening. All right, then we had Philadelphia, and we had New England again. All right, elite quarterback in New England. Philly had a backup quarterback in, no elite quarterback, and they had a great football team. They won. All right, what was the score? 41-33, they beat an elite quarterback as a great football team. Next up, we have New England again in a Super Bowl. All right, they went to three Super Bowls in a row. They win this one 13-3, uh, yeah, all right? So an elite quarterback with a really good defense that year Good offense beat a good a great football team. All right, with no elite uh, quarterback, they won 13-3. Next year after that, this is when Kansas City start flexing their muscles a little bit. All right, Kansas City comes into the fold. They win 31 to 20. All right, Pat Mahomes was just getting to possibly be an elite quarterback. I'm not gonna necessarily call him elite yet. But he, they had a really good offense, a really, really good offense, and he was starting to be that guy. They won that game against a great football team in the 49ers, 31-20. Come, they came back in that game, by the way, to win that game. Next game, Tampa, Kansas City. Tampa, elite quarterback, elite uh, uh, um, defense that year, really good offense. They beat an elite quarterback who had no offensive line whatsoever, all right? None, zero, no offensive line. Defense was not that good either. An elite quarterback drugged that team to the Super Bowl, and they lost to a really a great team with an elite quarterback, 31-9. Next year, we have the Rams and Cincy. Rams win 23-20. They win that game, all right, after trading for Matt, Matt Stafford, who was not an elite quarterback but had certain elite traits, right? He comes in, takes over, fits the system well, great offense, great defense, great team, beats another great team, right, in Joe Burrow and um, who was verging. On, at this point, on being an elite quarterback, he, he cemented himself as an elite quarterback after this year, brought his team to the Super Bowl, they lose. All right? Haven't even sniffed it since. Do you see what happens? You think that you're going to go ahead and um, win a game, because, or sorry, go back to the Super Bowl 
and then you don't end up back. All right, sorry. And by the way, there's a little glare in my face. I can't do nothing about that. All right, I'm going to finish this doggone video out. It's a long one, by the way. Sorry about that for y'all, but I'm just trying to get this information out. This glare is kind of, mm, but whatever. Next one. All right, last one, by the way. Kansas City and Philly. All right, Kansas City and Philly. Kansas City, elite quarterback at this point. Elite quarterback brings his team to the Super Bowl. And then they lose to a great, I mean, they sorry, they beat a great football team with Jalen Hurts. Not an elite quarterback, but they have a great football team, great offense, great defense. They win. All right, so as we see here, going through from 2010 all the way to through 2023, we have seen that great quarterbacks, sorry, elite quarterbacks have beaten great teams and great teams have beaten elite quarterbacks. It happens both ways. That's the way it, it's gone. But if you look at the elite quarterbacks that there have been, it ain't been that many. Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, Drew Brees, um, Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, Drew Brees, Pat Mahomes. Those are the four. Now, they've won multiple, but those are the four. All right? The other Super Bowls, they were won by, won by great teams. All right? Let's build a great team. We build a great team, we give ourselves a really good chance by being a great team to... Win us a Super Bowl, man. Finally get us one. We could beat an elite quarterback with a great football team. Don't think we can't. We can. We just have to have a really, really good defense. All right? We have that really good. If we have a great team, we should have a really good defense. We can beat. Because all it takes is for the elite quarterback to have a bad game. That's it. If the elite quarterback does not have a great team around them, they can lose. All right? We just saw it. I just showed it to you. Pat Mahomes went up against... Uh, who was it? Went up against Tampa Bay. No offensive line. Defense was not that good. They got smoked 31-9. Pat Mahomes is an elite quarterback. Couldn't have an elite day behind that offensive line. They were, they were ravaged by injuries. That day was not going to be the day Pat Mahomes could get over an elite quarterback on the other side and a great football team. That wasn't happening. All right, now, let's say that it wasn't Tom Brady and it was Baker Mayfield. Probably still would have won because they had a great football team that year. And Baker, Baker that we see right now, I'm talking about this Baker, not that Baker from back then. And those, those, this Baker right now probably would have won that game. It wouldn't have been 31, but he probably would have won that game. All right? I'll holler at y'all in the next week. Y'all already know what it is. Fins up till we die. Once again, sorry about the glare. Towards the end of the video, the glare just kept getting worse. It was right here, and then it just kept moving. All right. I'll holler at y'all. Love y'all. I'm out.